In this video, we'll be installing the GNU uh, toolchain. So the first step is to open up uh, the website for Corn20 and then to click on this first link under the documentation. Uh, scroll down and then click on uh, this fourth link here, which should open up the ARM website. Uh, since I have a Mac, I'll be downloading uh, this tar file over here. But um, if you have a Linux, you should be downloading uh, this tar file over here. So um, it's a pretty big uh, file actually, so I've already downloaded it on my computer um, and it's in the downloads folder, so I'll just click on the tar file to expand it. And it should take about uh, the 10 or 15 minutes to expand it. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, cool. So it's expanded inside of the downloads folders. So now I'll move it onto a desktop. And I'll open up a terminal window. Then um, I'll go into the desktop. And then um, I'll actually make a new uh, folder to hold all of the Cohen 20 stuff. So I'll just uh, call it Cohen 20. Um, and then I'll move the folder that we just got from the ARM website into this Cohen 20 folder. So it should just be that. And then. I'll just move it inside of colon 20, um, and then I'll go inside of colon 20. Almost. Okay, perfect. So now the colon 20 folder has the same folder that we downloaded from the ARM website. So the next step is to get the workspace folder, um, and this is also from the course uh, website. So now uh, we're, uh, we're going to click on this first link under software. So we'll just click that, and we should download a zip file. We'll just click it to unzip it. And then we'll just move it onto uh, the, the desktop again. And then we'll go back to the terminal. Um, and then we'll move uh, the, that workspace uh, folder into the Cohen 20 folder. So we'll just do another um, MV and then into the current folder, which should be the Cohen 20 folder. And now if we do an LS, uh, this uh, Cohen 20 folder has both the workspace folder and the folder that we got from the ARM website. So now the next step is to go inside of the workspace and uh, we are going to edit the make file. So, so I'm just going to use vim and uh, press I for insert mode. Um, and this first line uh, should basically be uh, the path which points to the bin folder which is inside of uh, the folder that we got from the ARM website. So now we're just going to put a dot for the current directory and then slash um, and then dot dot to go up one directory and then slash and then here we should put the folder name uh, that we got from the ARM website. So I'm just going to exit Vim for a second. I'll just do a quick uh, the copy and paste of this folder name. Um, I'll edit the make file again with Vim and I'll paste that in and then slash bin slash. So just make sure that you put uh, the slash at the very end of this line here. Okay, and then, uh, Save that up. Um, and then now the next step is to get uh, the sample code from the course website. So now we're just going to get it actually from Lab0. So just hover over the programming labs and then click uh, Lab0. And then now we're going to download uh, these two files here, uh, Lab0 main.c and Lab0 calculator.s. So we'll just do a right click and then open a new tab for both of them. And we uh, should save these two files inside of the SRC folder of our workspace. So we're just going to do a right click, save as, and then we're going to go to our desktop and our Cohen 20 folder, uh, our workspace, then SRC, and then hit save. And the same thing for the other file. So we're just going to do right click again, save as, and then we're going to go to our SRC folder, yep, and then hit save. Okay, perfect. So I think that this is pretty much it. So now if you go back to your terminal window and then you just confirm that you're in your workspace, uh, which we are, perfect, okay. Um, and then now if we just run make, um, it should compile all of the files inside of uh, the SRC folder, which in this case is just uh, the two sample programs we got from Lab0. So it should basically uh, just compile those files and then it should uh, generate this output.bin file here, which is the executable that you'll put on your board.
Okay, perfect. So now you should be all uh, set up for the Cohen 20 lab.